Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy. Netflix Sparkless Seeker with Sparkless Caliburst and Sparkless Singe. Now, this set really surprised me today. Walked into my local Walmart, and there he was on the bottom shelf. Now, I have this guy pre-ordered on Walmart.com, and it's not saying he's going to be released till August. So I was really thrilled to find this set. Immediately canceled my pre-order. So now let's take a quick look at the packaging. You got Transformers, War for Cybertron Trilogy. Netflix right there. You got the Sparkless Seeker here in robot mode. There's Singe and Caliburst. Got some great artwork here on the side. On the back of the package, you got Singe, Caliburst, and the Sparkless Seeker in robot and alt mode. And here on the side of the box is the Transformers Netflix artwork, which is, that's the Kingdom artwork done in that red, black, and white Netflix coloring. So now, without further ado, Let's get this Seeker opened up out of the packaging and see if he's any different than any of the nine other repaints of this mold. Nine. I'm not counting the Shattered Glass Starscream just yet. So welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get the Sparkless Seeker 3 pack all open and out of the packaging, you'll see they do come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. But if you do not know how to transform a Siege Seeker or Battle Masters yet, where have you been? Where have you been? You also get some blast effects. You get this purple blast right here and two green squigglies. So these, of course, will go in the old bag o blast effects. You also get two null rays. These, of course, go on to the sparkless seeker. We'll go ahead and attach these right up here on his shoulders where null rays are supposed to go, or you could also put them in his fist. Then you get the two battle masters. This is sparkless caliburst and sparkless singe so real quick let's take a look at caliburst first and caliburst is just like the other versions of caliburst just painted a gray and off white and he does have some nice paint applications there on the visor uh, let's see that's about it he really doesn't look as sparkless he's got a little life to him his collars are a little brighter let's go ahead and transform him into weapon mode Click the feet together, bring the waist up, fold the feet down, and get them all locked in place here. And here is Caliburst's weapon mode. Actually, really kind of plain looking, but it is what it is. Taking a look at Sparkless Singe, now he's a little bit more sparkless dead looking olive green collar kind of a military green he also has a nice red visor go ahead and get him transformed flip this section up 
click the heels together, bend him over, get everything tabbed into place, lock the arms in, and there you go. I kind of like the look of this blaster better than this one. I just, I've always liked this double barrel blaster a little bit better. So there you go. There are your two battle masters. Now let's bring in the Sparkless Seeker. And at first when I saw this set, I really wasn't going to pick it up. I didn't need another Seeker. But then upon closer inspection, I love his color scheme. The black, brown, and green remind me of my old military BDU. So the Army veteran in me had to pick this guy up just because of his color scheme. And I dig it. I think he looks really cool in hand. Just a very unique look for a Seeker. Now, his molding is exactly the same as all the other Siege Seekers, so there's no big difference there. But I did notice this Siege Seeker has no translucent plastic whatsoever. All my other Seekers do. This one does not. The cockpit is a painted brown, and the clear light piping section right here is also brown plastic. So this one has no light piping, which... I guess is par for the course since he is a lifeless seeker. So articulation, just the same as the others. The wings can move out and in, up and down. The arms can do a complete 360. There's an elbow bend, elbow rotation. There is a wrist rotation. The heads on a ball joint look up, down, all around. There is waist articulation. Legs can go forward. They can go back, but they are going to hit his backpack here there is a knee bend thigh rotation and slight ankle tilt so not not bad i mean it's a seeker mold what can i say now this face sculpt also has the weird smirky face i hate that face i just think it's way too over exaggerated but that's it that's pretty much it i see why his joints were so tight now i've still got the little rubber bands attached. Always make sure your figures are free from all their binding before you start doing your review. So now let's take a look at this Sparkless Seeker in Tetrajet mode. In Tetrajet mode, the Sparkless Seeker's colors carry over very well and I think it looks really good for this mold. Once again, no translucent plastic right there for the cockpit. It is that brown collar. Lots of great molded details, as can be expected. Purple Decepticon insignia right there, and here on the other side. And that's about it. Now, I do have to commend Hasbro that they've used this mold so many times that this section right here no longer pops off. If you remember Starscream way back when, you couldn't transform Starscream without this section popping off. No problem whatsoever with this mold here. Now, you can take the Sparkless Seeker's weapons and plug them here under the wings for this look going on, or you can actually plug them into the arm sockets that are here on the side of the vehicle. And I actually like this look. If I can get it. So you've got that look going on, or you can remove the null rays and add the battle masters. So you just plug those in on the wings. They won't fit on the sides. So you plug them in on the wings here, and there you go. Now these battle masters stay in a lot better than hot link. Oh, he popped apart right there. Because hot links, they would just constantly fall out. So that doesn't look too bad. Unfortunately, there's really nowhere to put the null rays if you go with this look. So here we'll compare the Sparkless Seeker with Netflix Hot Link. So you can see right there the translucent cockpit compared to the brown, and these panels keep popping off. Of course, that's an issue with all of these Siege Seeker molds. So there you go, guys. One final look at the Sparkless Seeker in Tetrajet mode. And now for some quick size comparisons. Here is the Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Sparkless Seeker 3-pack with Netflix Megatron. 
Netflix Hotlink, and the Netflix Sparkless Bot. Well, what can I say? The War for Cybertron trilogy, Netflix Sparkless Seeker, is just another repaint of the Siege Seeker mold. Though, I do like it. It's just a unique take on the Seeker with this OD classic military camouflage look. I, I really like it. Like I said, the old soldier in me just loves this color scheme. Now, I did forget to show you, he may not have any light piping, but he does have some really good paint applications there on the eyes. Now, a running joke on my Facebook pages, thanks to his color scheme, is I don't like the name Sparkless Seeker, so I've jokingly referred to him as Shitstorm with his Target Master partners, Skidmark and Nugget. So <laughs> it's a little inside joke on my Facebook page. So there you go, guys. There you have the War for Cybertron trilogy, Netflix Sparkless Seeker with Sparkless Caliburst and Sparkless Singe. So, does the Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy Netflix Sparkless Seeker with Sparkless Caliburst and Sparkless Singe belong in your collection? Well, if you're a Seeker fan, absolutely. You are going to love this guy. He's got such a unique look compared to all the others. And there are a lot. This is the ninth recolor of the Seeker mold with a tenth on the way with Shattered Glass Starscream. Not to mention, you get new Battle Masters, and you can ha never have enough of these as far as I'm concerned. I have dozens of these little guys. They are so cool and so versatile with all your other figures. So yeah, you see this guy on the shelf. If you're a Seeker fan, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And we are getting so close to my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October, less than 500 to go. So thank you so much for your support. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!